Hey guys, Jonathan Welton here again. And uh, I just was thinking about something recently. thought I'd share this idea with you and uh, get your thoughts perhaps. Um, but uh, there's a verse that gets used very often at funerals or when we hear about something tragic that happens. And it's uh, Psalm chapter 116, verse 15. And uh, I'll just paraphrase as we most of us have learned it from King James or New King James. And it says that uh, precious in the sight of the Lord is the death of his saints. So precious in the sight of the Lord is the death of his saints, which gets pulled out when we hear that somebody has passed or, or uh, you know, a tragic car accident, tragic cancer, things like that that's happened. Um, and the concept is is really almost schizophrenic when we think about it like on one side we understand what paul writes in first corinthians he uh, 15 he says that death is an enemy so death is an enemy it takes you out of this world and yes although if you're a believer you are with the lord and that's wonderful that's good it's uh, Philippians 121 says that uh, for me to live is Christ and to die is gain so it's not a negative that you die in the sense that uh, we're talking about hell I'm not talking about hell in this video um, but the idea that it's precious like God sitting back going oh it's so wonderful I'm so glad you're here uh, the reality check about this concept today that I want to just throw out to you is that the verse actually is better translated as costly in the sight of the Lord is the death of his saints. And you can start to do some research and some other uh, translations, but if you look it up in an interlinear Bible, you'll find that the word precious is also translated costly, which I believe and a few other commentators have believed that this verse makes more sense as costly. And when we start to put it into perspective that Paul calls us ambassadors. We're ambassadors of the kingdom. We're God's ambassadors from heaven to the earth. And he puts decade after decade after decade into training us to bring the kingdom, to be carriers, to be ambassadors, to be releasing that kingdom into this kingdom, uh, the kingdoms of the earth. He doesn't need us in heaven. He'll get us eventually into heaven, but he doesn't need us there. But he needs his ambassadors that he's put all this time and value into to be on the earth, doing the work of the kingdom, being active, being involved. And so this concept of, oh, it's so sweet, they're home of the Lord. Yes, they are. That's great. But from God's perspective, it's almost like, what? What are you doing here? You're not supposed to be here right now. You're supposed to get that thing healed. You're supposed to be delivered. You're supposed to be resurrected. You need to be down there. I've put four decades, six decades, seven decades into making you an ambassador of my kingdom. And you're here. You show up at the gates like, what are you doing here? And I don't mean that God is like shocked or surprised, but there's an element of it that uh, maybe we've taken a rollover and well, they're sick unto death and precious in the sight of the Lord is the death of his saints. And we need to rise up and be much more aggressive when it comes to these things. We've been given healing in the atonement. We need to grab a hold of it and go after it. It's ours. Just as much as salvation is ours, healing is ours. And we need to get a hold of it. Resurrection power has been given to us. Don't buy into a lie that says it was just for the apostles, that age has ended. That is nonsense. That is a bunch of lies. You can go through church history and you can find that there have been literally hundreds, hundreds of people raised from the dead over the last 2,000 years. But hundreds is actually way lower than it should be. It should be thousands upon thousands upon thousands of people raised from the dead. And we need to go after this stuff and not just let it sit there gathering dust. This is our inheritance and it's not precious like, oh, it's so sweet. Come on home. No, it's costly. It's costly to the kingdom. It's costly when, when you know, these pastors and leaders that get depressed and then they, they commit suicide. That's costly. The Lord has put so much of a calling and an inheritance into each one of us. And we need to get up and we need to get on board and we need to get moving. And there's so much more. Don't miss out on it. That's my little admonition. I was just going to share a thought, but I just, I'm feeling the passion of the Lord on what I'm sharing right now. 
And uh, I hope you're catching this. I hope it's helping renew your mind today and that you have a wonderful day. And we love you here at Welton Academy. Go check out weltonacademy.com. As always, a bunch of free stuff to bless you. We love you guys. Have a great day. Bye.